All right, y'all, what it do? I am back on the grind one more time. Now I am actually swapping the speakers that came out of the Caprice, which is right here. I got one down pretty easily. Whoever put these in was aftermarket, and they did a good clean job, but you could tell they're old. I don't even know these are Pioneers or something like that. Oh no, Alpines. I'm just gonna throw these in the Regal here. That's why I got them out. And then I got these right here. Man, these things scream. I seen a dude do a, uh, an unboxing on these. And man, they are freaking loud as heck. And six by nines, a three way. The part number is, uh, I think it's this one right here, 693.11i. I think this is the the highest six by nine end that the Infinity makes. It's an Infinity Kappa series. So man, they're sturdy. It's, it's kind of like a subwoofer just with a tweeter in there. So um, I've been looking to upgrade the Caprice anyway. I have a set of Infinity six and a halves in the front. Uh, they're just kind of middle of the road. I think at some point I'm gonna put speaker pods in the back rear, kind of near the deck area, but up on like the sail panel area, I would like to get some uh, some speaker pods custom made. So that might come sometime in the off season, but in the meantime, I'm gonna keep these. Put these up there since there's already provisions for them there. Hopefully it should be a, a good swap. Also, they're gonna be a lot louder too because I'm gonna actually hook these up to my amp. I have an amp that I have ran and hooked up, but it's just not hooked up basically. It's just kind of sitting there just waiting for me to add some more speakers. So I'm gonna go ahead and add this to it. And, uh, so here's a comparison side by side. Old one out of the Caprice, new one that's going in the Caprice. And you can see this one, I mean, you know, for what it is, it's not bad. It's just old. <laughs> but uh, then you have these, but then you have this one right here, man. And look at that magnet on that thing. Good grief. <laughs> I mean, for a six by nine, man. Whew. And I really like six by nines. I mean, if you can get a really, really good one that has a good subwoofer and then it has the built in tweeters, I think they uh, sound really, really good as long as you get some, some quality ones. I really like them. I've always used them. So, this is the amp that I have powering my sub, and then this is the amp right here. Now this is kind of an all-around amp. It's an old school Phoenix Gold amp, but man, does does it do the job. At one point I did have it running all my mids and tweets and everything and my sub, but or subs, but for what I had and I was trying to run the amp, couldn't power everything as efficient as I wanted it to. So what I did is I got that amp to run my sub separate, and then this is way more than needed for uh, my whole interior speaker. That's what I have to run the six by nines, and I'm powering my uh, six and a halfs up front as well too. So, but I'm gonna go ahead and try to tackle this right now. All right, so I got one up there. They don't give you much room, that's for sure. Uh, whoever installed these last time only put three screws in for obvious reasons because that four screw to try to get up there between the wheel well and the the uh, rear deck there is not a whole lot of room so uh, but they it went in pretty good after I got got it up there I had to be a contortionist I'm literally laying in the back of the trunk on my back with my feet sticking out put my head up in there trying to get this thing up there but it is in there it is wired in uh, at a later date when I put a new deck in I'm thinking about going double den anyway so once I get that all taken care of then I could attack that from there but anyways uh, this is where I'm at now so I'm gonna go ahead and install this one for the love of the damn game y'all <laughs> oh don't try this at home This side's a little bit better than the other side, though.
She is installed and some time later only because uh, that one that you guys saw me install, I had to take back out again because I forgot to see if I pressed the, there's like a little input button on top where you can kind of make it louder. But I didn't remember if I pushed it or not, which I don't think I did. So I had to take it off and it was already pressed in, which is good. I wanted to leave them both on just in case, you know, for whatever reasons they're louder i can always adjust it from the amp and the stereo so um i can lower that if needed so i had to take it back off again this time around it wasn't as hard but uh ended up working and i had to take it off anyway because for some reason this wasn't working i figured it out i unplugged it on accident it must have been when i was getting out i must have yanked the cord so what i'll probably do is end up taping uh the speaker wire up to the magnet that way if I do yank it on accident it'll pull against the tape and not against the uh, wire to pull it out the jack but it is working y'all and it sounds really 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 good yeah the wiring's a mess don't worry about it I'll never open the trunk anyway but I got my capacitor there my distribution box and everything is kind of up to date except for this deck <laughs> but I actually have a, a new one of these I because I didn't want to cut this one up I just didn't do it I always like to kind of have the original stuff so if I ever wanted to go back original for whatever reason I could so I found one of these at the junkyard off of an Impala same color blue as this so it's actually blue I'm gonna cut that out for a double den and put that in at some point but for right now y'all I'm rocking the old school old school deck here so if you guys haven't seen inside I got all my gauges and they hidden in there so it just looks totally OG besides the console I got my opera lights if you guys never seen those got those as well and yeah y'all looking good got my tablet somewhere in here I don't know where the tablet is but I have a tablet that sits right there so I think at some point I'm gonna have this redone and I'd like to have it just a little bit more clean look I went with gray just because it's a neutral color and I couldn't find material this color for some reason I had the hardest time doing it so I went with the gray instead and I'd like to get a, a, an iPad set up and all that there so but we'll see and I'd like to have the box kind of light up a little bit more but yeah she's looking good man I'm happy with it sounding good as well but that's it for today I'm gonna call it for today man I got a lot of stuff done today I got a lot of wiring done on the regal man i've been doing really good on that so stay tuned for more on that as well with the uh, speedometer and you know the whole top end install and all that so that's to come and man we are making waves everything is going well i'm glad i got that done so now i gotta put those speakers that i took out of the caprice into the regal it's gonna make the regal sound a lot better as well too but man i'm about to get out of here you guys know what to do like comment subscribe share do all that good stuff if you're new to the channel definitely think about subscribing man got a lot of good stuff coming and so stay tuned for more all right deuces out